How are you? Good, ev good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm wonderful. Excellent. I had a wonderful day. Really? What happened? You? It's all right. I had a very busy day. I was actually shopping around, as I mentioned yesterday. I had a very busy day, and I had to take the bus today because my car broke down. Imagine. You rode you wrote the bus? I yeah. took the bus this is, and this it is was... the first this is the first bird for me. Take note, please. You rode the bus. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I ha I heard it, I heard it as well. Yeah. Road the ride. Road. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah but Man, it was really busy, teacher. Wonderful. Yeah. This is the reason of this is the reason of for life. If you're yes. not busy, you don't feel alive. Alive. Yeah. Exactly. Alive. Yes, but it's tiring actually, right? It's a little ah, it's true. But I, saw your, I am okay. I saw your face a little bit tired. A little bit, right? <laughs> Even though <laughs> I have I have oh, put no. makeup on up, but yeah, I I I still look a little bit. I do make it right. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, what's what about this sound? Hey guys, I remember I left I assigned you some homework, right? What was the homework about? Mm-hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Renato. What was the homework, Isaura? Learn uh verbs. I um, ask you to let to give me 20 verbs, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Did you learn? I know you probably learned uh, have learned new verbs, as you say, Nazario Road, right? Right, road reading, right? And not only in simple present, but also in simple past. That was in the simple past verbs uh, that are regular, they are easier right because they just change with the e with the ed but the others are a little bit more complex right so that's the idea to learn verbs so so we we get more vocabulary and more fluent all right um da -dum. so how um we we are going to to ask you guys for the for the verbs in a few minutes when the rest of the uh, miren como les dejé tareas aquí poquitos se, se quisieron conectar vea se enojaron porque ayer los regañé mucho dice vaya anyways anyways oh there is here it is Rebecca um De verdad que I feel a little, hmm. I feel a little uh, bad. I have a third throw. A little homesick. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, guys. So we already uh, talked about some, well, I already talked about changes that there uh, we have been um, experiencing. And you were supposed to tell me some of the changes that there has been. Okay, okay, Rebecca, I, I suppose you're working, so don't worry. Uh-huh. Using time contrast. Remember, en eso nos quedamos. No se me ha olvidado tampoco, okay? Solo Nazario me dijo un par de, de, de cosas de lo que había cambiado, and then we were talking about the global warming and all the species we have lost. Uh, including um the the flora fauna and animals etc uh -huh. so isaura you're next como no lo quieren decir ahora se lo okay. voy a preguntar directo okay porque okay. si no hay que estamos esperando que alguien participe vamos a pasar 10 minutos y nadie se va a animar right vamos okay. come on isaura okay 
When I was a child, I remember that I used to I used to books a lot of and I went to the li library very often. These days uh you don't see anyone using a books. They only use the phone and there they find all the information. In the future it is very possible that the technology will be more advanced. More advanced, yes, of course. Okay, so technology has changed every people's life. Why? Because especially people or kids, especially kids, don't play anymore. They don't read, uh, they just watch, um, well, they just play in the phone, okay? A few, few people read a uh, uh, books like physical books right but they normally read some in my in my opinion sometimes it's good because you don't uh, well you say trees doing something online but unfortunately nobody reads uh, like 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 when we used to read like uh, in our childhood nice um when Ocupó un pasado. Used to. Uh -huh. Book a lot. Si digo book, estoy diciendo como reservar. Make a reservation. All right. Entonces, eh, le faltó el verbo ahí, ¿verdad? I used to. Use. Ah, oh, I used to. I used to use. Ok. Oh, I used to read, ¿verdad? I used to read okay. books a lot, a lot. Sí, solo dice mucho. Solía leer libros mucho. A lot of, no, solo a lot, mucho. Ok, these days, the time contrast, ok. Um, the, the kids or people are not using a book. O books en general, ¿ok? Porque si hablo de un libro, digo, ¿de qué libro estoy hablando? Estoy hablando en general, entonces digo books. People don't read books anymore, ¿ok? Nice. Thank you, Isaura. Nice. Um, Rebecca is busy. Renato, are you there? Yes, teacher. Time contrast. Time contrast. Tell me. Tell me a story. Um, before in Santa Tecla, the winds were strong. Um, okay. I remember that the storm last last a long time since September. Since September, ok. Ah, oh, que es duraba, ¿verdad? Yes. El viento de octubre que ya no existen tampoco. All right, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, the winds. All right, so. Because uh, there were, there was more vegetation, of course, right, Renato? Yes. Mm -hmm. Continue. My, my grandparents tell me uh, the people, um, how do you say, abrigaban? Cover? cover mm -hmm. in the afternoon because of the cold because of the cold okay it was super cold okay yes okay um now, only that... <laughs> that is only past time contrast ocupemos más expresiones para hacer el ta eh, de hablar pasado presente y futuro se acuerdan que ese es el tema right Aquí estamos hablando, el objetivo es ocupar pasado, presente y futuro. ¿Ok? So, nowadays, puede decir nowadays, in these days, currently. What are another expressions that we can use? ¿Qué otras eh, podríamos hablar? Para el pasado ya dijimos, ¿cuáles, cuáles teníamos uh, ayer? The question is for all teacher or for time? Renato? For everybody. Okay. Uh, 10 years ago, for example. Before. When, 
10, whatever years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In the past. In the past. Yeah. At the time. Long time ago. At that time. At that time. In aquel tiempo. We are good. Long time ago. At that time. What else? We can use different kinds, okay. teacher. A lot of people speak about the beginning of the centuries. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Before. At the beginning of. At the beginning of the century, at the beginning of the um, conquest, yeah, el inicio de la conquista. What else? Um, kind of conquest. Uh -huh. <laughs> at the beginning of, um, by the end of, by the end of the eighties, or by the at the beginning, como usted también dice, at the beginning of the nineties. In nineties, right? Mm -hmm. By the end of the of the eighties, civil war was slowing down, right? Was like, um, it was less cruel. What else? So those are expressions to talk about the past. Um, and there were several more. So for expressions talking about that, we have about today's, uh, about these days, you say currently, currently, what else? Nowadays. Nowadays, good. Yeah. Nowadays. These days, as Saura used the example, mm -hmm. these days. Today. Today. Right. Mm -hmm. In the present. It's according to the topic, teacher. The different kind of the different kind of word that we have to use. Yep. I know. Some people but, say in this year, in this month. Uh -huh, this year. Uh, yeah. This year. This week. This dec this decade. This decade, etc. Right. Uh -huh, this year, day, month. Etc. 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 So, guys, me extraña que no hayan visto el que, que no se acuerden del video que vimos. Okay, aquí hay, aquí hay más. There are more here. So, time contrast. Aquí está. Okay. Okay, then, eso no lo habíamos mencionado, right? Then, okay, entonces, en aquel entonces, okay, expression in the past, okay, let's see the, the present, in the meantime, you see, now, nowadays, in the meantime, eh, ese no lo habíamos mencionado, y in the future, next, we didn't mention that, okay, in a year, ¿se acuerdan de la expresión también de cuando decíamos in the future, right? In a year. In the future. You say later. Soon. What else? We can use in the middle, teacher. In the middle of John or May, etc. Mm -hmm. In the middle of lo que, lo que, lo que, lo que venga, ¿verdad? In the middle of August, we will have vacations. 
Yes. So we you want to have glasses. You're right. Okay. So obviously, guys, if we're talking about the present, vaya, es del pasado, entonces el verbo va. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si es cierto que se han aprendido los verbos. What is the verb begin? Begun. Aha, uh -huh, very good. And begun. Was. Was and? Where. Good job. Give. Gave. 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 No me van a decir gay, ¿verdad? Gay. No, gave. Va, va. Siempre <laughs> al final, ¿verdad? Take gave. Care. Ajá, uh -huh. gave, ok, y el participio es given, given, got, get, get, gotten, get, got, gotten, yeah, good job, ok, right, wrote, and past participle, wrote, written, 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 oh, sorry. ok, written. ok, Written, yeah. Uh, what about mm, there are so many verbs that I don't remember, uh, but okay, so we use the verbs in past. Remember the uh, the structure we normally use the affirmative form, the subject plus the verb. If it's talking about negative, so we know that it's subject, did not, and the verb that doesn't change, right. And, and if you're asking a question, what is the structure? Hmm, I saw something strange outside but he left already yes if we <laughs> okay so uh-huh so for simple pass so we use did and then uh, subject and the verb in in the base form exactly base form all right base form of the verb was a compliment. Okay. Now for present, okay, if we're talking about the present, oh my God. What happens in present? Subject plus the verb. But remember the verb changes. Oh my God, I siento que me voy a enfermar. Sorry, guys. Okay, uh, base form. Uh, eh, no, en tercer, siempre ocupamos la tercera persona. ¿Se acuerdan, right? Yep. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuándo es que cambiamos el verbo con ES? Cuando se habla de él o ella. Why? Cuando se habla en tercera persona. Third yeah. person singular. For third person singular, ok. Pero vaya, normalmente a todos le ponemos S, ok. Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando? ¿Por qué a veces en algunos casos le ponemos ES o IES? Lo que usted creo que me quiso decir, eh, Isaura, es cuando terminan en Y, ¿verdad? Y que se hace IES, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero solo si le agregamos ES, ¿por qué? Do you remember? Mm. Good night, Mayra. Good night, David. 
O buenos días, mejor vea. Good night. <ríe> no, no es que los esté saludando. Yo digo good evening. Yo digo good night porque se me conectaron tarde. What happened? What happened? Ok. Ah. Anyways, guys, um, we are talking about um, when to put the ES. Cuando, pues. You don't remember? Nazario, no, 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 no lo creo, no le creo. You can't believe. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe my eyes. Vaya. Um, Nadie, nadie, ok. Todos los verbos que terminan con S, vamos a ver, ¿qué más? CH, ajá. Se le agrega ES. Exacto, ¿cuál es otro? Vamos a ver, David. Ya les puse tres. Con X. El A X, good job. Y la Z, si no me equivoco, no nos hacen falta muchos ahí. So, example. My mom washes, washes. Ahí sí pronuncio la S extra, ¿verdad? Ah, o oh, watches uh, the soap opera at 1 p.m. Se ve la novela a la una. Watches. Mi my mechanic me arregla, eh, me arregla, oh, digamos Miguel, quien me arregla el carro es un buen mecánico. How would you say that? Please repeat again. Miguel, quien me arregla mi carro, es un buen mecánico. Miguel, who fixed my car, is a good mechanic. Y la S, pues, Nazario. <laughs> Fixes. Ajá, ya ven, ya ven. ¿Por qué, les, por qué siempre les hago preguntitas así, verdad? Se les olvida agregar la ES o la ES en algunos casos. Ok, muy bien. Um, ya saben que si termina con Y, pues el verbo lo cambio con I latina, ¿verdad? Y en estos casos que terminan así... Le agregamos una ES. My, my Miguel, who fixes. Pero ese cambio, ¿verdad? Que solo es cuando se habla en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Solamente. Sí, ¿verdad? Exactly. Solo para terceras personas. ¿Cuáles son terceras personas, Jairo? Cuando. He, she, it. He, she, Aplausos. he, she. Good job. Vaya, solo para ellos es que cambio el verbo. Y solo en afirmativo. ¿Ok? En negativo, no. ¿Cuál es la estructura para negativo? Uh -huh. So we say the subject. Subject. Uh -huh. Does not. Ajá. We say do not para Actually, los... Yeah. Para el excepto... Para todos los sujetos, excepto las terceras personas. ¿verdad? Do or does, para la tercera persona. Y el verbo, right? The verb. ¿En qué forma va el verbo? ¿La misma estructura del pasado? In the base form. In base form, ¿ok? Plus the complement. Complement. Igual para la pregunta. La misma estructura, solo que aquí le pongo qué. Sí, También, ajá. Aquí sí se me, me, me acaba. No, acá, en presente. En present. Auxiliar. Auxiliar do or does. Ok, y ahí está. Do you work? Does she work? Ella nunca lo cambio, solo en tercera persona. Ok. Y para el pasado puedo ocupar el show, que es bien formal, más que todo en libros, la Biblia, etcétera. 
Eh, pero es más will o going to. Remember? Vamos a ver cuál sería la estructura. Super easy for future. Subject. Ajá. Uh, we, we say. Will. Uh, subject. To, plus uh, will. The Very form, good. Complement. And then the. The base. The, the verb. base form. form exactly. Complement. Complement. Uh -huh. in, fe, in base form. Plus the complement. Pero ese es el más fácil. Si fuera negative, so we just say want or will not, right? Y para hacer preguntas. Will plus will at the beginning. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm. So for negative, ahí está nada más. Ponemos el not y ya. Will not. Si es pregunta, pues esto cambiaría a que el sujeto va en segundo lugar. Right? ¿Y con el going to? The subject. Pasa. Uh, I'm going. Subject. Um, is are a mi su ar, ¿verdad? Si tiene que ir, no solo digo I going to. Digo, I am, como dice David, ¿verdad? I am, you are, she is. Vamos a ocupar entonces la estructura así. Sujeto más el verbo be. Ya saben cuáles son conjugados, cuáles, cómo se conjugan. Verbo y be, ya sea am, is, are. And then, going to, y luego el verbo, ¿ok? Now, To make it negative, sería entonces? Subject. Mm -hmm. um, is not plus going to plus the verb. Ah, ¿dónde va el not? Entonces, perdón. After I. The... En medio del verbo be más el going to. ¿Ok? I am not. Going to uh, uh, work. I am not going to to sleep well. Maybe <laughs> I sorry. am not going to um uh, to have class tomorrow. Mentira. Mire que no nos han dicho si vamos a tener la clase que no tuvimos el viernes este viernes. No nos han dicho nada. Okay, ya le vamos a escribir ahí Diego. Creo que se llama el muchacho. Porque mañana sería como el último día. Y yo espero que si el viernes, pues, tengamos la otra clase que, que no hemos tenido, ¿verdad? Primero la que no tuvimos el lunes. El, la de lunes tenía, la teníamos el viernes. Y gracias a Tigo, ¿verdad? No tuve internet, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si les expliqué. De nada me servía estar... Con datos, de repente iba a estar inestable y voy a repetir la clase. Así que no, no, vamos a, no podemos hacer lo mismo que me pasó el lunes pasado. ¿Ok? Vaya, y entonces, en pregunta. Verb Ajá. Going to. Verb Y luego. Going to. El sujeto. Oh, <risa> Are you, is she, are they, uh -huh. am I? Te va a preguntar así, uh, am I going to teach this Friday? Voy a enseñar este sábado, este viernes. Are you going to connect tomorrow? Te vas a conectar mañana. I yes, hope. I, sujeto, am going to connect tomorrow. Vaya, ya vimos cómo se hace la estructura de presente, pasado y futuro. Okay, so any questions so far? Tienen alguna pregunta, guys? Eh, yo, teacher. Yes, Evelyn. Eh, cuando se utiliza el going to, siempre sería con el, con el verbo, eh, con el to be. Siempre, siempre es I am, you are, she is, siempre y luego going to. Y el verbo principal. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. 
Entonces, Ajá, pero siempre sería, ¿verdad? Con el, con el verbo, con el fin, ¿verdad? Utilizando el I, el I, el I, el I, She or he or it is, mm -hmm. he, you or they are. Ahí está. Ok, siempre. muchas gracias. Siempre. Obvio, si lo quiere hacer contractado, pues hay gente que solo dice, I'm going to. No está bien. Ah, es, okay. I'm, porque no me hacen la contracción, ¿verdad? Entonces, I'm. Y si no hacemos esos sonidos al final, pues... Gramaticalmente no, estamos diciéndolo bien, ¿verdad? Sí, es I'm going to, I'm, mm, tengo que cerrar los labios, no solo es I going to, ¿ok? Sí, Any gracias. other question? ¿Cuándo vas a ir a Estados Unidos? Pregúntenme. When are you going to go to the United States? Exactly. Si ya digo going to, el verbo principal es go. When are you going to go? Otra vez lo tengo que decir. Okay. When are you going to go to the United States? Or going to travel to the United States? Or going to visit? ¿Sí? Are you? Solo le damos vuelta al verbo, ¿verdad? Ya no digo I am, sino que am I. Are you is she. Okay. So, uh, Renato solo me habló del pasado, no me usó time contrast. Ya vimos los contrastes o las palabras, yes. las yes, palabras teacher. que podemos ocupar para darle esa relación, ¿verdad? Del pasado, presente y futuro. Ajá. In the, in the past, there were fewer cars on the street. Mm -hmm. And I also remember that before there was a cinema in Plaza Merleot. Now the, the okay. place is a call center. Oh, yeah. There was a, a, a cinema. No, it was, yes. was it? Yes, was cinema. it a cinema? Okay. And now it's Telus, right? Nowadays, yes. the, the cinema doesn't exist, right? Because, of course, there are so many malls next to or very close to, to Merliot, right? Yes. The, that they have, for example, Cinepolis and, Cine and Cinemark closed. So probably that is why. It was not profitable. No era como rentable tenerlo, ¿verdad? Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the future? Um, um, hmm. I don't know, teacher. And, but <laughs> if we don't do, okay, so before the traffic was really light. Nowadays, the traffic is horrible, right? There's traffic everywhere. And unfortunately, if we continue growing or if the population is growing, as the rhythm of that is, it's been grow, uh, growing um, in El Salvador, we will have more um, more and more traffic later, all right? In a few years. ¿Se acuerdan la expresión? In a month, en un mes, futuro. In a few years, en un par de años, okay? También expresiones como esta se eh, refiere al futuro también. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're going to ask David uh, the examples, okay? Así súper rapidito. Present, I mean, past, present, and future. Con going to? Ah, uh, you can use you can use the past, you can use the the, the present and the future. Remember that we were doing the time contrast. Uh, uh teacher. Um, I remember yeah, uh, just that you gave us a um, homework. Learn verbs, and, right? Um, yeah, learn verbs and about to tell a story. Tell and a story, you, exactly. That is what that, that is what I'm asking about, about David. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. I grew up in a neighborhood of Santana. It was um 
a beautiful place. There were many trees. Um, there were um, there were not many houses, but to the years, uh, many people came to live in the in this place, and they built uh, many houses. People from other places, uh, because of the um, eruption of the volcano of Santa Ana, mm -hmm. they came and they lived right there. So I met a, a boy who was my best friend. I remember uh, when we were spending time together all the time. We were uh, going to school, and mm -hmm. sometimes we were speaking about the future. Um, I was telling something to us, for example, um, what are you going to do um, when you are maybe 25 years old? And she used to say, she used to say um, maybe I will get married. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> and uh, uh -huh. he says, he's good. Um, I'm going to study English because I want to be a bilingual and I want to work in a um, a company in San Salvador, and that's the way he do. It does, does uh -huh. the, yes, he uh -huh. does. Uh -huh. Works in, in teleperformance, mm -hmm. and I am studying too yeah. because I have to to work in that company. Oh, and really? It, but your two, English is is good, David. You you can make it. Are you not getting? Yeah. And I want to be his co-worker. <laughs> really? And okay, nice. About the past and the present and the future as when we were children. <laughs> All right, nice. Uh, I will um I will suggest something. You can learn English here, of course, right? I don't know if you tell me, no sé si usted me dijo que también estudiaba más en otro lado, no solo aquí, right? Yes, actually, I am studying in edu classes. I have classes okay. from Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's the the reason I came up. I came here very ah, late. Ah, so you have it physically? You go, you go no, in present. I have, I have them online from okay. six p.m. until nine fifteen. So that's the way I. That's the reason I was late tonight. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. But you see, you're you're learning a lot a lot of English, and my advice or my suggestion is that, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, well, teleperformance doesn't have the like, those programs. However, there is another call center that it's Sykes. They have us like um, they hire you. Le pagan incluso. Y eh, solo le dan un pequeño entrenamiento. And then, um, con eso se pule en un mes, ¿verdad? Eh, y creo que si no me equivoco es gratis y también lo tiene TELUS, ¿verdad? Que su inglés tal vez es de un 60, ellos lo hacen que llegue a un 80 y lo dan el trabajo. So, averigüe de eso. A cualquier cosa me pregunta, whatever you want. Because your English is really good, David, okay? Solo que uno a veces no se cree, ¿verdad? Que, que podemos, que tenemos todas esas habilidades, okay? Eh, but I, I, I see that you know, your English is really good. You, you participate. So uh, that is something that helps a lot, all right? So uh, good job, David. And I hope that you work there soon, all right? Okay? Remember to practice every time that you can, okay? So, um, vamos a ver, Jairo, uh, do, uh, remember, you can make a short story. No necesito que me hablen tanto, simplemente ocupar estas expresiones, ¿verdad? Y ocupar el pasado, el presente y el, el futuro para dar como un pequeño, um, tal vez no una historia necesariamente, sino como una opinión de lo que estuvimos hablando ayer, por ejemplo, right Con Nazari. ¿Ok? Jairo, go. Hello, everyone. Good evening. How are Hello. You? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, because uh, my, my, my history is a little, a, a little, a little, when I was a child, I used to uh -huh. I used to hate going to my school, but today is 
late to to tell us about it. Uh, five years ago, I learned I learned to play guitar with my friends. She, he is he is a good a good a good player to to guitar. Uh, a a guitar player. Mm -hmm. Guitar player, yeah. A guitar player, okay. Yep, and nowadays, I am preparing my last exam exam to can exam exam to can graduate and to be a lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer es mentiroso. <risa> Law, lawyer, ok. Esa o, esa, esta, liar es la que usted me acaba de decir, se escribe así. Y lawyer mentiroso. es esta. Lawyer, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lawyer, yeah. Ok. So, uh, you, are you working year... on your thesis? No. Not there, yet. There... No yet. Ok. Yet. So, next year... Yeah. Next, next, next year, I'm going to, I want to look a, a job. To look for a job, buscar un trabajo, look, okay? To look for a job. Look Thanks. for, okay, es buscar, ¿verdad? Solo look es ver o look lucir. For. Okay, look pero for look for I, es buscar, okay? Yeah, good job, Thank Jairo. You. I hope you make it and you guys have a great uh, job because you deserve it. Remember, you are studying, you're preparing yourself to have to have a better a better uh um a better life a better uh, better opportunities okay and thank you Jairo and you used uh in the future in the past 10 years ago so that was good you used the the time contrast here uh, my story este es un story como una pequeña um, um las story es como cuando hablamos de las cómo es que le puedo decir es como algo que se cuenta sí los sucesos I, I know a word that is, is storyteller um, Ajá. <laughs> storyteller all right pero the story es como que usted está Diga, no sé, pasada, se me ha ido la palabra. Um, but history, history, la que usted anécdota, me dijo al inicio, como anécdota. es el, una anécdota. Thank you, exactly. Eso es un story, ¿verdad? Una anécdota de lo que usted ha pasado en su vida. Pero el history ya se, ya se refiere más a los hechos que han pasado durante un montón de años desde que comenzó el, 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 la vida en el planeta, ¿ok? Esa es un story, eh, perdón, ese es un history, history, y obviamente este es, este es story y este es history, ¿ok? Así como que, ah, y en el 1900, ¿verdad? Que no sé qué, en el 800, ¿cuál era? 1989, en 1989, um, the, Berlin, um, the Berlin Wall, was torn down, ¿ok? History, eso es history, ¿verdad? Los acontecimientos que no nos han pasado a nosotros, sino que han pasado a toda la humanidad, ¿ok? Uh, guitar player, ¿ok? He's a very, guitar, a very good guitar player, ¿ok? Uh, I'm preparing, yeah. preparing, is that preparing, preparing. La escuché como prepa. Es preparing. Acuérdese, liar, no, ¿verdad? Lawyer, ¿ok? Ok. That's it. Thank you, Jairo. And somebody else, quiero ver quién más me, me falta. Yes, Francisco. Ok. Um, my case, five years ago, I. I, I... I was employed in one company, uh, house supports for assist legal assistance with insurance uh, company insurers. Uh, today I work the same because I work in freelance. And the next year I uh, I'm going to uh, create my property my own company. 
Okay. Yeah. Good. Super, Francisco. Nice. So you used to work in a legal company. Um, okay, and now you work in a uh, freelance, so you don't have uh you don't work for a company, you do it by yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, but, but next year you will run your own business. That's great. And I hope you make it and, and I, I wish you all the success in the world, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Francisco. All right, um my dog. Glendy, what happened to your camera, Glendy? Glendy. Oh my God. I'm not crying. Yo creo que me va a dar una buena gripe. I will have a flu probably. And I hope it doesn't happen. Espero que no fax. But Mayra Patricia. Sorry for you. Yes. Well, when I was a, I was a child, um, I like to go out uh, to play soccer with my friends. Uh, so currently I don't have any hobby because I'm busy for my work. Um, but uh, in a few days, I go to travel okay. in my vacation. Vacation. Vacations, okay. I'm going, Rem I'm... recuerde que esa es, esa es, es la, la forma, ¿verdad? I'm going to travel. Uh, I'm... Currently, ah, me dice, because of my job, you see, por, por mi trabajo, I don't have enough time, right? Because yeah. of, como por causa de, okay, así se dice. Porque me dijo, I don't have time for, for my job, o sea, y me dijo que no tenía tiempo para su trabajo. Pero si dice que no tiene tra tiempo, Por, por el trabajo, ¿verdad? Se dice, because of my job, ¿ok? Ok, nice, Glendy. Hello. Time for trust. Sorry, teacher. Um, I had problem with my internet. Ok. So you don't know what we're talking about. About the future or what? Um, vaya, le vamos a preguntar a Evelyn si está ahí. Are you there, Evelyn? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Go, tell me a short story using time expressions. Okay. Uh, this... This there a uh, story. What? Um. <laughs> uh, there is a story. What? A story. A story. A story. Uh, before when I was a child, I remember that my grandmother took out too short, but I didn't like uh, it. I was very boring. And, and now it's adult. I don't like it. Either it make it sleepy. <laughs> it, makes you, me, it makes you feel sleepy. No le gusta ir a la iglesia porque le da sueño, dice. Yes. Nice. Vaya, Evelyn. Thank you. Um, now, uh, I will just mention something. Uh, dice, before, when I was a child, solo puede decir solo before, a long time ago, or when I was a child. Um, I didn't lie, me dijo así. I didn't Lie. Eso es lo que me quiso decir. Lie. Sí, I didn't like the, the no gustar. Ajá. Ah, ok, like. Ajá, like. Ajá, ya ven que no me dicen los verbos, no me le pongo.
ponen los sonidos al final y decimos otra cosa. Lie es mentir. Este es like. All right. I didn't like to go to the church. Okay. Eh, my mom, mi, mi abuela me llevaba, ¿verdad? No es talk. Yes. ¿Se dice? Walk. Walk. Walking. Walk it. Okay. Walked. Uh -huh. Walked. Vaya, pero si me dijo took. Ok, esta palabra no era. Eh, es took. Pronuncia, eh, se pronuncia así. Y me dijo que usted era una aburrida. I was boring, me dijo. ¿Se aburría o usted era la aburrida? No, me aburría. I, I ah. was boring. Y entonces se dice, I was bored. I was boring. No, boring no, porque usted no es una aburrida, ¿verdad? Usted estaba aburrida. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. No es lo mismo decir estoy interesada que soy interesante. ¿Sí? I am interested. Yo les intereso a mis alumnos. ¿Ok? I am interested. Soy una persona... Eh, eh, o que si yo quiero decir yo soy interesante, pues ya digo I am interesting yo, estoy, yo soy interesante, y aquí es yo estoy interesada ¿Okay? ¿sí? cuidado con los verbos chicos, cómo los ocupamos ¿ok? vamos, en algún momento van a ver ese tema, yo sé que todavía están Intermedio, ¿verdad? Pero sí, no sé si habían visto este, estos temas, que las EDs o el ING son co cosas completamente distintas, ¿ok? Mayra, uh, perdón, hoy sí, Glendy. Yes. The same question. Ask me. Sorry. Uh, could you ask me? <laughs> Use time expressions and combine past, present, and future. Lo siento, chicos, que me siento bastante enferma. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Voy a apagar un momento la cámara, ¿ok? Tell me, Glendy, I'm waiting. Uh, whatever I want or about a topic. Whatever. Um, uh, Bueno, mire, así lo que estamos haciendo es como que el, eh, estamos, ¿verdad?, perdiendo minutos de nuestro tiempo y mejor lo vamos a aprovechar con el homework que teníamos. Bueno, aquí para eso, no sé si se conectó al inicio, Glendy, pero por eso es que estábamos hablando, ¿verdad?, que en el pasado ocupamos de esta forma cómo hablamos en pasado, cómo hablamos en presente, cómo hablamos en futuro. Y teníamos expresiones como estas de lo que vimos ayer. ¿O you, you were not in the class? Yes, yesterday, no. Ok, ok. Entonces, eso es lo malo, ¿verdad? Que a veces no estamos en la clase y tampoco vemos los videos. Ya lo subí. Ok, so, los videos de la clase, of course. Let me see, guys. Igual, aquí están los videos, ¿verdad? Aquí eso es lo único que, que puede ver. Miren, ni tres minutos dura este. Ok. Eh, vamos a hacer un knowledge check, guys. Ok. Match the phrases with the appropriate information. Ok. Number one, um, is Saura. The instruction. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Before the automobile. Automobile. Uh, automobile. 
Okay, automobile. Before the automobile, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay. What about number two? Help me, Francisco. Number two, before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at a small store. Okay. Used, okay, used. I, I cannot pronounce you la ed, okay? People used to. People used to shop at the small store. Okay, nice. The next number three, David. The number three, about 500 years ago. Um, People, uh, people didn't, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay. Help me with the next one, Nazario. Okay. In most office today, let me see. Offices. Offices, sorry. People work more than 40 hours a week. All right. Help me, Jairo, number five. Number five say, in many cities nowadays, uh, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay. So, uh, um, maybe uh, we use that one already. Vale, le vamos a poner así, vamos a ver si la tenemos bien, ¿ok? And the next, help me, Mayra. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Number one, number one is, before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Number two, number two is, before, before there were suspend supermarkets, the answer is people used to shop at the small stores. Number three, about 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. Okay, give, give me a second. So, people play, uh, play the first game of golf, okay? So, the four, the four is in most offices today, people work more than 40 hours, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So number Not five good. is pollution is becoming a, a serious problem. And soon, Glendy. Yeah. Thank soon, you, Jaime. Most people are going to work up home. Okay. Let's see, we have the seven. Evelyn. Sería, in next older years, uh, Sería people playing in the first games of golf. Fíjese que en the next hundred years, en los próximos años, no podía ser que la gente jugaba, ¿verdad? Ok, pues Antes tiene de... que tener lógica en el presente, presente, pasado, pasado, futuro, futuro. Y aquí, played, es pasado. Así que no okay. podría ir ahí. Entonces sería, there will probably be city in space ok, cities miren que no me dicen las S cities, cities. Renato la última sometime in the future doctor might find a cure for the common cold ok nunca la han encontrado solo nos han ajá, no es esa no, no no ver Number seven is in the next hundred years, doctor might find a cure mm -hmm. for the common cold. Entonces Number la ocho eight, es? Sometime in the, sometime in the future, mm -hmm. there, there will, will probably, probably be cities in space. space. 
Good job. Ahí tenemos entonces las respuestas, chicos. See you tomorrow. Nos vemos mañana. Buenas noches. Good evening. Estudien más verbos. Mañana sí les se, los, se los pregunto. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye.